What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just want to say thank you guys so much for your support so far. It's greatly appreciated. And if you can, keep showing the love and I'll keep making sure I show the love back. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take you through my back workout routine. So we have day one, day two, day three. So right now I'm actually working or running a split. So basically if you're unfamiliar with the split, it's just essentially a time period of how many times I'm working. So right now my split is actually a three day split. So what I focus on is day one upper, day two lower body, and day three upper body. So for example, today we're going to take you through day three back workout routine. What is going on guys? Welcome back again. So today we're actually going to be doing a commentary on the video and I figured that it makes more sense because then that way you guys can see exactly what I am mean inside of my videos and how exactly I'm explaining it. So the first exercise today is going to be a lap pull down. We're going to be doing three to four sets and eight to, t eight to ten reps. So you'll notice here as I pull down with my lats, I'm more focused on pulling with my lats than I am my biceps. It's easy for the secondary muscle group to take over. So what's important to note is that as you're pulling with your back muscles, really put your mind to muscle and focus on pulling, especially with all those back muscles, you know, the rhomboid and the rear delt, etc. So it's just important, as I said, to keep in mind as you're pulling, definitely keep that range of motion stationed there. And um, you'll start to see too, as I kind of uh, go away from my body extend, I extend my arms almost to the point where I'm fully extending it, but just I leave a little room right before at the end. So then that way I can come back and have enough room to um, actually pull that last rep. Exercise number two is gonna be a single arm lat pull down. So what I'm primarily focused on here is normally lat pull down, obviously it requires both arms. Single, single arm lat pull down requires one. And so you're able to determine whether your left or right lat is actually lacking or whether or not one is uh, more dominant than the other. So that's the point of isolating each one. Exercise three, straight arm pull down. It's important to really keep your arms as straight as possible. And the grip that I'm using here is actually a straight arm uh, you kind of see right there. It's like it's small. It's a small accessory. Most gyms have this. Um, those of you guys who go to CCB kind of know definitely have that. But if you are working out at any other gym, normally this is pretty common for the gym to have this. So on this, we're going to be doing three sets of about 10 to 12 reps. So again, straight arm pull down. So this exercise right here is working primarily our lats. And so after this movement, we're going to go ahead and move over to DB row. So normally, I also love to build um, also thickness, right? So there's width and thickness to the back. Of course, you know, for any girl who might be watching too, this is okay to also work back as well. There's nothing wrong with a little bit upper body, but here in the DB row or dumbbell row, you'll notice here I'm primarily focused on pulling with my elbow and I'm driving it. So you'll notice that this right here is targeting primarily mainly like the center of my back. And so what I'm focused on is actually trying to build the thickness of the um, rhomboid there and so you'll start to notice too that I'm just switching my arms and seeing how everything works a little bit of my infraspinatus is also being worked a little bit of Terry's minor um, Terry's major as well so you know it's just important like I said to keep the mind to muscle connection again on this exercise it's so easy for the bicep to take over so like I said really keep the mind to muscle you definitely don't want your biceps to overgrow because again that's what they have arms for and for you to primarily focus on that. So like I said, there is that. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and move on over to rear delt flies. And so on this one is obviously this three part to the shoulder, which is front, side, and rear. And primarily we're focused on rear delt today. Um, some people pair shoulders all together. Some people uh, pair it separately. But for this specific exercise and the routine I'm on now, I just decided to pair it with my back day, just makes a little more sense. And so you notice as I pull away from my body, I'm trying to keep my arms as straight as possible and pulling away. I know some people have a small curve, but here I have my arms a little bit straight. Um, and so that would be the exercise there. And then exercise number six is gonna be a single arm tricep extension. So right here, I'm primarily focused on seeing whether or not my left or my right arm is more dominant than the other. And so I'm going to be doing three sets of 8 to 10 on this one. So again, same thing with the left here. And you'll notice that I'm going obviously a little bit lighter than normal. Focus just on one arm at a time. And, you know, it's okay to lighten up the weight just a little bit. You know, the goal is to increase little by little. So that's that. And then exercise number seven, moving on over to overhead tricep extension. And so three to four sets here, six to eight reps, maybe a little bit heavier than normal. Nothing too 
crazy, but also to you definitely want to work them out. So like I said, that is the commentary on this one. The intent behind actually doing back and tricep is because since your back and bicep is quite doing a lot of work already, normally your tricep isn't being worked as much. And so therefore you have a lot more energy to expend for your triceps and obviously you have a little more strength. So that's kind of like why I pair the two together. Like I said, that's where I'm at with that today. And I hope to see you guys in the next one and we'll see you soon.